authentic European metal drum sound from Daniel Bergstrand in a sampler. Is it too good to be true? Let's find out. Hey guys, James here from James App Productions. Today, we'll be taking a look at the new Drumforge Bergstrand library. I'll be demoing the library in three different metal mixes using no external processing on the drums. I'll show you how it sounds in solo, and I'll compare it to Drumforge Classic. At the end of the video, I'll share with you my thoughts on it, including the pros and cons and who I think this library is for. In an upcoming video, I'll showcase every single drum and cymbal in Drumforge Bergstrand, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. I do want to mention that Drumforge did give me a free copy in exchange for some video content, but I'm under no application to lie about anything. I'm also giving away one license of Drumforge Bergstrand. All you have to do is to subscribe to the channel, tell me in the comments which album mix by Bergstrand is your favorite, and follow me on Instagram because that's where I'll announce the winner one week from today. Okay, here's Drumforge Bergstrand in the mix.
So, what did you think of Drumforge Bergstrand in the mix? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts and I read and respond to all your comments. You can also download the preset I created and used in two of the demos you heard. Personally, I think Drumforge did a really great job with this library. It contains actual drum samples from Bergstrand's personal collection that were used in iconic metal records by bands like Behemoth and Meshuga, which means that this Drumforge library offers a kind of very specialized drum tones that don't really exist elsewhere in the current market. I've compared the samples to the drum sounds in albums by Behemoth, Decapitated, Dark Funeral, and several other bands that Bergstrand worked with. And I gotta tell you, many of these samples sound like they're straight out of those records. And when I finished putting together those three demos you heard, I was like, holy sh**, the drums do sound like the ones I hear in many of uh, Bergstrand's mixes. The samples are aggressive, raw in the most metal way, and really thick sounding, especially the snares. The sampler is super lightweight on the CPU. As I said before, all the drum processing in the three demos were done inside the sampler. There is a lot of not only processing, but also routing happening. But despite that, it doesn't take up too much CPU power. Not to mention that the loading time is really fast as well. I also like the channel strip design of the mixer because it's simple and pretty straightforward to use. Each channel has five inserts, which include saturation, compressor, EQ, clipper, and reverb. You can even choose which insert controls to see on a per channel basis. Now that's super awesome. I love that each instrument and its related samples all have their own individual channel for processing. For example, you can process the snare room mics and the kick room mics separately. In most drum libraries like GGD or TuneTrack, all the room samples are routed together and so are the overhead samples. If I want to process only the snare room samples, I would have to create a new channel in a mixer and manually route the samples to that channel in Superior Drummer. In GGD, you can't even do this. So I'm very glad that Drumforge did it this way because it really gives me a lot more control in the mixing process. Drumforge Bergstrand also has some user-friendly features. You can control click the drums to quickly audition what they sound like. You can toggle the inserts on and off by clicking on them. And you can easily go between the overview of a channel and the insert controls by control clicking as well. The sampler also has a one-shot sample loader, which will create a separate channel for the one-shot sample in the mixer. And that's really nice because you can not only easily tweak the sample, but you can also further process it with the uh, five inserts. One feature in Drumforge Bergstrand that I don't see in other drum sample libraries is the fact that you can actually tweak the volume of each velocity layer and enable or disable a specific sample on that specific layer. Now, one big feature that the Drumforge team added to this new library is the Grooves tab and they did a great job with it because you can actually drag and drop different grooves into the queue, arrange them in the way you like, and drag the whole sequence to the doll. Now that is super neat. And I believe the only other major drum library that has the uh, has a groove builder like this is Superior Drummer. I know for sure that neither Steven Slate Drums nor Gecko Drums has this feature. So great move, Drumforge. Now, of course, Drumforge Bergstrand is not without flaws. I find the symbol selection to be really limited. There's only one symbol for the left crash and one for the right crash. There are not a lot of options for hi-hat, splash, or china either. I find the drum card view to be not as easy to read as the traditional drum set view for a couple of reasons. First, it can be hard to tell at a glance which ones are rack toms and which ones are floor toms. It's also hard to tell at a glance which one is the left crash and which one is the right crash. It doesn't even say in the labels. It's also hard to tell apart which ones are crashes, which ones are the rides, since some crash rides look exactly like a crash. It would be nice if I could at the very least reorder the drum cards. Second, you cannot select multiple channels and move more than one fader simultaneously. If I use three kicks to create my kick sound, I would like to be able to select all the kick channels and change the levels together. Right now, I would have to send them all to a group channel just to do that. There are a couple other small usability issues that I won't go into because I already talked about them in my Drumforge Classic review video, which you can find over here and in the description. And Drumforge actually fixed some of them. 
So that's really awesome. Now, the real question is, should you buy Drumforge Bergstrand and who is it for? In my opinion, this is not a library for beginners. Sure, some of the presets are awesome, but I see Drumforge Bergstrand as a very specialized drums library with a distinct sound for mixing engineers. If you're not good at mixing or if you're hoping to solely uh, rely on a preset, you won't get the most out of this library because some of the samples do require a bit of uh, processing in order to sit well in the mix. If you're not a fan of Bergstrand's drum sounds or you don't work in the subgenres that Bergstrand is known for mixing, this library is probably not for you because it sounds very much like his drums. If you want raw samples and tons of room to shape your own drum sound, or if you want the utmost versatility, this library is also probably not for you because most of the drum samples uh, in this library sound pretty processed and there are no raw samples available. However, if you are a fan of Bergstrand's drum sound and the music you work with is stylistically similar to Behemoth, Meshuga, Decapitated, and the like, then you better grab this because there's no other drums library out there that captured Bergstrand's drum sound as well as this one. If you are tired of hearing or using GGD samples, SSD samples, and SD3 samples, this would be a great library to pick up to use in combination with whatever you have. It will certainly add a different flavor to your drum sound. If you want your drum sound to stand out among the crowd of GGD samples, this library would also be for you because not everyone can just pick it up and make it work. So I don't think it will end up saturating the scene as much as GGD does, which is a good thing. That's it for this video. Give it a like if you find it helpful and informative. Remember, I'm giving away one license for Drumforge Bergstrand. Just subscribe to the channel, tell me in the comments which album mix by Bergstrand is your favorite, and follow me on Instagram because that's where I will announce the winner one week from today. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.